I'm a teacher. Give me back my phone. This happened a few days ago. Sorry for the formatting, I am on my phone. I work as a substitute teacher at various local high schools, I am 24 but obviously look younger according to this teacher. At as angry teacher. Me is self-explanatory. Angry teacher, why aren't you in uniform? And no phones during school. I thought he was talking to a student so I ignored him. Angry teacher, excuse me, don't ignore me. He said as he snatched my phone out of my hand. Me, what if? Give that back, I'm not a student. Angry teacher, that's detention for swearing at a teacher. You will get your phone back at the end of the day. Now you will come down to the office and tell the principal about how disrespectful you are being. By this point I thought it would be funnier to let him complain to the principal who I play that ball with and watch his reaction. He was raging. Saying I deserved to be suspended and that students always have their phones out yada yada. The principal and I were just trying not to laugh before she told him I was a teacher too. Me. Now give me my phone back. Don't you have a class to teach? Because I do. I have never seen anyone go so red. Edit, English is my fourth language, so one or two spelling mistakes seems pretty decent. Also thank you for the nice comments. Entitled Old Woman Grabs Autistic Kid This story is kind of different, in the way that I, employee, witnessed an autistic young man, maybe 14 years old, get caught up in some crazy lady I don't work here lady situation. Let me set the scene for you. I, working as door greeter watching out for lost customers and folks with returns, working in lawn and garden section, I see this autistic young man, I guess he is autistic, as he seems predominantly focused on his action and kind of has the actions of an autistic individual. This young man is sorting and moving potted flowers around putting them in a very specific order, matching colors, size of pots, and height of the flowers themselves, doing an amazing job at it too I may add. He is bothering no one and most folks are just noticing him doing a bang up job, but this one old crone of a woman sees him working she stands behind this young man arms folded and tapping her foot, at first I was thinking maybe it was her son or someone she was shopping with, but the next thing she did proved to me I was mistaken. She clears her throat in that dreaded fashion we all know, ahem. Excuse me. You need to help me. The young man pays her no mind, continuing with his task, she doesn't like this, she clears her voice and replies louder. You are not listening to me, you are going to help me now. Before I can walk to her and ask her what she needs she reaches out and grabs this young man by the right arm just above his elbow, I guess the sudden action of this and the young man's condition caused him to spin around and jerk his arm away from this lady, and the sudden movement startled the old woman causing her to step backwards and lose her balance causing her to sit down on her butt. It was like in slow motion watching her go from standing to sitting on the ground. By the time I reached the young man to see if he was okay. His mother had shown up and was asking what had happened, before I could say anything the woman who had caused this was up and berating this young man. Saying he attacked her and she will have him fired and arrested, meanwhile this young man was almost crying and his mother was shocked. I told the mom to take her son and calm him down, that he has done nothing wrong and just make sure he is okay. Crazy old women didn't like that I took his side, she began to lie and tell me she was the victim and she didn't do anything, that the employee, young man, attacked her. I told her not so kindly. She was a liar and I had witnessed the whole incident. The young man you forcibly grabbed does not work here and you assaulted him. By now a crowd has gathered, and the crazy woman has noticed that no one is giving her looks that they believe her side of the story. She just puts her head down and walks quickly out the store. When I turned to check on the young man and his mother she was smiling at me and was thanking me for my help, she shops here regularly and the young man likes to arrange the flowers, it's calming to him, I express my regrets about the whole incident, the young man walks over to me and baits my shoulder once and goes back to the flowers, the mom informed me that was the equivalent of a high five from him. That was it, then they were gone. If this story doesn't qualify for this sub, mods feel free to delete. Just wanted to share.
How 12 year old me put a Karen in her place. Just discovered this sub, read some great stories here and thought I'd share one of my own. This happened over a decade ago when I was a kid. I was around 12 years old at the time. I had tagged along with my parents to a wedding, though I don't recall exactly whose wedding it was, and that's not important to the story. It was a typical extravagant Indian wedding, with hundreds of guests in a wide open lawn, and for the most part I was just roaming around while enjoying the snacks. Later on in the evening when dinner had started I regrouped with my parents who had taken seat at one of the tables, now joined by a few of our distant relatives who were also attending the wedding. See, at such functions the food is served in buffet style, but usually a lot of the more affluent hosts will also hire some part-time wait staff so that guests won't need to get up and make a trip to the buffet for every additional helping of gravy slash bread slash whatever. In this particular wedding the wait staff happened to be all wearing pink turbans, and so was I. You can see where is this going. Unfortunately, the number of wait staff they had hired was not nearly enough for the hundreds of guests that were present and it was almost impossible to get a hold of even one guy. There's dad, mom, and a couple uncle, aunt at our table and I finished eating really quick cause of all the snacks I'd had earlier. So dad asked me to fetch water for everyone and being the obedient little kid I was, I agreed. I went to the buffet, picked up a plate, put four glasses of water on it and started to head back. I had not taken even three steps before I get my shoulder grabbed by this lady I have never met before. Not giving me a chance to speak, she barks at me to follow her to wait at the tables where the groom's immediate family are eating. I tried to speak a few words in protest, but she cut me off and yelled at me for being insubordinate. Now I realized that she had mistaken me for one of the wait staff, but being the mischievous little kid I was, I didn't think it's important to clear it up yet. I just nodded, agreed to follow her and asked what I should do with this water I was carrying. Being questioned by a lowly service worker clearly upset her, because a vein visibly popped on her forehead and she replied with mere Sir Pardalda. Which literally translates to dump it on my effing head you moron. But actually it's a phrase which people often say in vexation when they believe the other person has asked a stupidly useless question. And that was her undoing. I simply nodded once again, upended the plate with four glasses of water on her face and sprinted away. Luckily, I never saw her again. But I imagine the groom's family gave quite an earful to the catering contractor that night. Karen slapped and pushed me because I was ignoring her and not helping. I am an 18 year old male. Born completely deaf and mute. Also, I am partially blind in my left eye. I live with my sister, 28 female, who had been taking care of me since our parents died. Recently she got married and went on her honeymoon. So I am on my own for a few weeks. This happened yesterday. Usually, whenever I go out I am accompanied by my sister due to my disability. But now, since she is on her honeymoon, I had to go out alone. There was a new supermarket opened in our area, and I needed some items, so decided to go there and grab them. My bad for wearing a red colored shirt almost similar to the employees working there. But if you look closely, you could see that it was not the uniform. I was at the electronics section looking for some batteries, when I see an old man struggling to get some DVDs at the top shelf. Since I am tall, I helped him. He thanked me, I can do lip reading, and went on his way. Then I began looking for the batteries. That's when I felt someone grab my left wrist. I turned around and a woman, in her late forties, slapped me. She was speaking something, but I couldn't follow her lips as she spoke too fast. However, I was able to catch some words like you, ignore, job, etc. So, I signed to her that I am deaf. Apparently, this was a wrong move because she became more irate towards the signs. Again she was yelling something but I couldn't catch anything. So I took my notebook and started writing that I am deaf and mute. Before I could finish, she grabbed my notebook and pen and threw them away. Then she slapped me again and pushed me to the ground. Luckily, by this time a store employee came to see what the commotion was about. He saw me on the ground and helped me up. Then he asked me what happened? Before I can sign to him, Karen starts to yell at the employee. I don't know that she said as she was not facing me. After she finished, I signed to employee that I cannot hear or speak. 
Fortunately, he understood and explained this to the lady. But she is still not convinced. She tries to assault me again, but I moved away. Then I wrote and showed the employee to call the cops on her. The employee nodded and called the cops. Karen tried to run away, but the security caught her. The police arrived in about 10 minutes. They first talked to the employee who explained the situation, about how Karen assaulted me because she mistook me for a store employee. One police officer comes and speaks to me. I understood that he wanted my version of events, so I wrote everything down and showed it to the officer. Then they went to check the CCTV footage. Then came back and asked me if I wanted to press charges. I gladly said yes. Karen was then placed in handcuffs and given a free ride at the back of a police cruiser. The manager then explained to me that Karen thought I worked there and she became angry that I ignored her. She had been standing on my left side, so obviously I couldn't see her. The store manager then offered me a 50% discount on the products. I texted my sister about the events that happened and she was livid. Oh, did I mention that my sister is a lawyer? She told me that she herself will be handling the case and would see to that Karen would get maximum time. Court date is in around 40 days. I will update about it after court. Edit, I noticed many were asking about masks. She was indeed wearing one, but during that encounter she had it on under her chin and not covering the nose or mouth. Also, lawyers in India can represent their family in court as long as they are not directly involved in it and the judge is not a relative to the lawyer.